Last hour, a massive asteroid flew safely past the Earth. The asteroid is over 3,000 feet wide and is traveling at 43,000 miles an hour. Scientists from Italy's Virtual Telescope Project hosted a live stream. It showed the asteroid at its closest point to the Earth within 1.2 million miles. It happened about an hour ago. That's the closest the asteroid will come to our planet for another 200 years. Joining us now is Michelle Nichols. She's the Director of Public Observing at the Adler Planetarium. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. I guess a uh, close call uh, depends on your definition and your astronomical perspective, right? Right, yeah, this one uh, passed by Earth about five times farther than the distance from the Earth to the moon. So if we're not worried about the moon and its distance, we weren't really worried <laughs> about this one either. <laughs> but why were people so excited about this? Well, mainly because it's big. So usually uh, folks pay attention with when some of the slightly larger asteroids go by. But in reality, asteroids go by Earth every single day. Actually, mm -hmm. there's five of them just today. And this just happens to be the biggest of those five. And that, therefore, a little fun to watch. Uh, we've got some video um, from that observatory in Italy. It's a little hard to see, but uh, this is an animation we're showing you right now. Um, but in a sec, we'll show you the video from Italy. And, and it just essentially looks like a, a fuzzy dot. So what can we learn from that? Well, from the fuzzy dot, you can basically learn, don't worry about stuff like this. Um, <laughs> the fact that you can't really see anything, that's kind of important. It means it's far enough away, mm -hmm. you're not really gonna see any detail. It's not gonna affect us in any way, shape or form. People get really worried when they hear bridge-sized asteroid or twice the size of the Empire State Building, but it's, it's not anything to worry about. But what the scientists are mostly interested in is really refining its orbit. We've known about this one for over 25 years. Um, but stuff like this, when it passes by Earth, we learn more about its orbit. We get to figure out exactly where it's going to go mm -hmm. in the next few hundred years. And Congress has actually tasked NASA with doing a more thorough job of investigating asteroids, tracking them. Um, how's that going? Pretty good. Um, we now know of quite a few more than we did several decades ago when the project started. Um, asteroids this size, we'd like to know where more of them are. I'd say we probably know where about 40% of them are. We'd like to get up to 100%. It's going to take a long time to do that, though. There's space is really big, so uh, we need to, to have more effort to try to find these. And understand how, how these objects move in space. Uh, this may be a silly question, but is there a plan if a uh, asteroid or a meteor ever gets too close to Earth's orbit? Funny, you should say that. There's a mission that launched a few months ago uh, called DART, the Direct Asteroid Redirection Test Project from NASA. Uh, in a nutshell, what it's going to do is slam a spacecraft into a small asteroid, won't destroy it, won't move it or anything. But it may move it a tiny bit, mm -hmm. and that's what we want to see if we can figure out. Can we deflect these asteroids when they're far enough away where even a tiny little deflection might result in missing Earth later? So uh, so it's something that NASA is curious to see if we can even do this at all. Nothing to worry about. It's not going to hit Earth. It's not going to fragment or anything. <laughs> um, it's just one of those can we do it? And science goes, I don't know, let's try. And so they're going to try that at the end of September. That's what's so fun about science. Michelle Nichols from the Adler Planetarium, thank you so much. Appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having me. See, Ben, you had nothing.